The Volvo XC60 was at the vanguard of the compact luxury SUV scene when it came out for the 2010 model year. Thing is, while many rivals are on their second or even third generation, the original XC60 is still going. That's because Volvo has bigger fish to fry. Working to renew their lineup and resurrect sales, they created an all-new XC90 first, which quickly took the XC60's place as the best-selling Volvo in America. So the XC60 bides its time until it's time for its own redesign. That doesn't mean nothing's changed. Over the years, lots and lots of different engines have graced the XC60's engine bay, but now we're down to two four-cylinders. This T6 has the latest top dog choice, the same 300 horsepower, supercharged and turbocharged two liter four cylinder that's optional in the larger XC90. You'd think this engine would be a joy. Indeed, it has no problem pulling around the XC60 and there's plenty of power. Thing is, the engine sounds rough. It's not as refined as you'd expect in the luxury car class. It's also paired with an engine start stop system that can be slow to restart, making for some nervous moments. The XC60 T5 has the other, more popular engine choice. Volvo has finally caught up with what basically seems to be every other luxury SUV, putting a 2.0-liter, 240-horsepower, turbocharged 4-cylinder into the XC60. Also following the herd, both engines come with an 8-speed automatic transmission. It's smooth and works well, so the engines are up to date, but where the XC60 feels old is how it drives. You'd think that a compact European SUV would be sported to drive, but not so much. While there is decent driver feedback through the steering wheel, response is a touch slow. Volvo also hasn't figured out that a car can have a composed ride while still absorbing bumps. Instead, they punch right through here. It's kind of crazy that a Chevy Camaro SS rides better than this luxury SUV. Things cheer up when you're inside. It feels open and airy when sitting up front. There's lots of shoulder room, the big windshield wraps around you, and the windshield pillars are refreshingly narrow. The back window is relatively large, but the rear roof pillars are on the thick side. Still, seeing out of this is a cinch compared to many rivals. The interior is Scandinavian chic, with plenty of nice wood panels, a flow-through center dashboard that feels architectural, and a padded and textured dash top that looks a little bit like Rhino skin. There's also a flashy digital gauge cluster. You can configure how it looks, but it's pretty limited on what info it can show at once. Other companies do this better. Same goes for the infotainment system. Some on-screen fonts are rather small and it takes a lot of twirling of this knob to scroll through the different menus. Then again, it is easier to use in Volvo's new iPad-like infotainment system. That one takes lots of hunting and swiping. Thick leather covers the terrific front seats. Supportive seats are a Volvo hallmark, but for this price, the lumbar should adjust for height as well as pressure. Rear seat knee room is on the tight side for the class, but there is plenty of cargo space. Volvo is synonymous with safety. Indeed, crash test results are great. City safety is standard, providing low-speed automatic emergency braking and pedestrian detection. Full-speed collision warning is an option. For a safety company like Volvo, we think this should be standard. The XC60 comes with a lot of standard stuff that's optional on competitors, including a rear camera, blind spot monitoring, this big panoramic moonroof, navigation, and real leather. An XC60 T5 all-wheel drive costs around $45,000. At that price, it's probably a better deal than Volvo's own V60 cross-country wagon. This top trim XC60 T6 stickered for $52,505. At that price, we'd start to think about moving up to the larger Acura MDX, Lexus RX, or even Volvo's own XC90. You see, there's a lot of competition in the luxury SUV market. So unless you're smitten by the XC60 styling or its reputation for fortress-like safety, there are a lot of better driving and more modern choices. For more on luxury SUVs, check out consumerreports.org.